what you're about to get is a little combination of uh, some of my reflections literally cobbled together in the last sort of five minutes. And also from um, Margaret Hoare, our medical writer, who has uh, been dutifully recording re her reflections and uh, kindly sharing them with me. So you're going to get a bit of a kind of two screens, except they're two bits of paper that I have to just look at. Um, so let me get on with that. So we started, we started with a welcome address. Um, and in a way, for me, that set, it set the tone for the two things that I think were my standouts from the meeting, which was this idea about resilience and response to crises but also the importance of a story. And so we heard Todd's story and we were, we were drawn into that roller coaster ride and, and what came from it. Um, we then had our rapid fires and we heard from our friends around the world on diverse issues. It's, there's never a kind of coherent thread to the rapid fires, but it's always fabulous to just hear from people that we might not otherwise hear from within the session. Um, we had the session on mandates, which included um, both pers well, perspectives on data, but also conceptual and ethical frameworks for thinking about it. And then we had our diverse perspective session, which was, again, I think full of inspiring stories, um, including um, of practice and, you know, yeah, things, diverse, interesting, inspirational things that we might be able to consider adapting to our environments. Um, it was also really great and it was such, such a privilege to have updates from the WHO Behavioural and Social Drivers Group and also VAN. And it's really exciting to watch those sorts of organisations and um, collaborations flourishing alongside this one and to sort of see this field growing. Um, today, for me at least, has been a big day about resilience because I was in the, in the resilience workshop and um, of course the morning was about resilience. And so some big take homes from that of course seem to be this um, question of building but also regaining trust when it's lost and how to recover from crises and scandals which seem to happen, you know, often unexpectedly and perhaps far more often than we'd like. So it's a question of how do we be ready for them. Um, and of course, we, between that, we had the training in vaccination acceptance and saw the evolution of some inspirational ideas that many of us who've been to previous meetings had previously encountered, um, but being able to see how those things are moving along. And I'm afraid I can't speak to the summing up of the stories workshop, um, so I'm going to have to, perhaps someone can do a tweet about that and put, put that out to the group. Um, certainly in the resilience workshop, it was a, a really powerful session and, um, yeah, it was, it was wonderful, I think, for everyone to stand up and actually move, move their bodies, move their brains, move their mouths and actually really be involved um, from the ground up in, in thinking about things. So I, I found that a really rewarding workshop and hope that you all did as well. Um, so now to zoom out a little bit, you know, where are we at? Where are we at as a group? Where are we at as a meeting? Um, the organising committee a couple of years ago published a meeting report in which we started to really refer to this as a community of practice. And I think this year we have again demonstrated how this community of practice is growing. And with the kind of repeat of, as I mentioned, um, some of the um, methods developed and being tested for training healthcare professionals in how to talk to parents. Um, also revisiting again this sort of idea of complementary and alternative medicine, um, our second session on mandates, which certainly for me has become a huge research agenda and hopefully I've spoken to others in the room who are also interested in that. Um, and the collaborations and cross-fertilisation that always occurs at this meeting and I think um, the kind of rapid exchange of ideas and where do we go from here from the resilience workshop is, a, is, a, is an example of that. So you never quite know what you're going to come home with from this meeting, but it's, it's going to be something new and exciting. Um, so preparing for the future was, um, I guess, the other sort of big overarching theme. Um, part of that resilience is media monitoring and not just being reactive, but how do we actually be proactive? How do, be, how do we be in those communication spaces to avoid leaving vacuums for others? Um, and again, the importance of tailoring strategies and partnering with other organisations. And again, the ever-present story, the ever-present need to actually be able to tell 
stories that will resonate with people. So I'd now like to move on to the portion of the meeting where I thank people. Um, of course, we start by, well, I would like to thank my fellow members of the organising committee. Um, I think we did a cracker this year. I hope you feel the same. I'm really pleased with how this meeting's gone. Um, I'd like to thank the Fondation Meru, um, working on my French accent, and uh, Le Pensier again. And of course, in particular, Cindy and Flavie and um, their colleagues who provide the kind of secretariat support for these meetings. Um, I'd like to thank Sanofi and Merck slash MSD um, for funding it. I mean, gosh, it's, it's, it, can't be, it can't be cheap getting us all here and feeding us and flying us around. So thank you for, thank you for you know, your ongoing support of this meeting and for um, the commitment to bring together. The, you know, there's nothing else like this meeting. So we're, we're really grateful to be able to come together in these circumstances. Thank you. I'd also like to thank the staff here, um, working on reception, working in the kitchen, uh, housekeeping, the wait staff. Um, I don't know about you, but I sort of need to go home and have a detox. <laughs> um, there's been lots of beautiful food. Um, so it's been, again, it's such a privilege. I know I've spoken to many people here who've said how nice it is to be taken care of for a few days. So it's, it's well worth emphasising that as well. Um, you may have been here before and had a, um, a survey after the event um, from Le Pensier that sort of says, did you like the food and stuff? So the organising committee has talked about and we will endeavour to include some further survey items in this year's survey around what you'd like to see next year. So, <laughs> yeah, hot showers, that's, that, that could be one. Um, I'm sure we'd all like to see those, just, just Goldilocks temperature. Um, but please take, you know, please fill that survey in any way, but particularly knowing that we're going to be asking you about what you'd like to see next year, please take that opportunity to tell us what, what we can do. Um, you also have the uh, names and emails of the organising committee. Please feel free to email one of us that you've spoken to, that you feel comfortable talking to. We, we're not a silo, we are, um, we're part of, you know, we want to be interconnected with all of you. So tell us if there's something that you think we should be covering. We, we spent lunchtime cooking up our sort of themes and ideas for next year, but there are still some possible opportunities for us to think of something or be told to think of something that we haven't thought of yet. So please, please get in touch. I can't emphasise enough how much we'd like to hear from you and also, of course, on the survey. Um, okay, please tell your friends and colleagues. I mean, I don't, we, we sort of keep saying we don't know how much bigger this meeting can get. I think this is the biggest it's ever been. But of course, we want to keep bringing new people through the door. We want to keep connecting with new organisations and new researchers and new practitioners. Um, new countries where people haven't been able to send representatives in the past. So please keep spreading the word um, because we would like to continue to have such a wonderful turnout as we've had this year. Um, so that pretty much brings me to the end. I would like to advise that there will be a lake swim for anybody who is keen and it's going to be upstairs, get your togs on and get down there. So um, it's, it's our last opportunity to all, you know, swim in the lake if we want to before we head off our separate ways. Um, so yeah, thank you for your attention at this end of the day. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you all for coming. And I look forward to seeing you and your friends next year.